Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Wonder Kid Watch where today we've got Giorgio Scalvini, 17 year old Italian centre back who can also step a bit further forward and already looks very very good. Before we get started of course make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel and comment down below on any players you want to see in upcoming episodes but let's jump into it. So a player who looks phenomenal already, uh, a player that I think could probably step into a few sides, um, wanted by Spal on loan um, but Atalanta certainly have to try and keep hold of him some fantastic physicals all around six foot four so a bit of a giant really some great determination in there at 16 concentration of 14 anticipation of 14 all things you want from a defender um, and he's also got the marking heading uh, and tackling stats you want as well or attributes i should say uh, let's take a look at his attributes and his current ability 113 current ability 165 potential so potential to be a bit of a world beater at defending, um, pretty much. Let's jump and see how he gets on. I, I'll be surprised if he doesn't do well. Uh, and we'll have to see if he manages to make any Italian first team appearances. So we'll jump ahead and take a look. Here we are then, 10 years on, and he's at Spurs. Made 73 appearances for the Italian first team with three goals being scored. Uh, and certainly can step into midfield with some great marking. Mentals are looking brilliant. Concentrations, determination, positioning, all very, very good, along with vision as well. Uh, and physicals, again, only thing but not in green is the acceleration and pace, which very much could be in a year. Uh, 14 and 15 acceleration and pace, respectively. So... Looks a very, very good defender um, and a centre-back that is definitely one of the best in the world. Looking at his career stats, though, he made a £9.25 million move from Atalanta to Spurs after making five appearances for them. Um, a loan move to Bournemouth, though, did follow in the Championship where he played 45 times for them and absolutely smashed it. Comes back straight into the first team with Spurs and hasn't left it since. So that's... Quite impressive. That's like nine years uh, of football for Spurs in the first team. Almost straight away getting that game time. That's probably why he's developed so, so well. Um, looking at competitions, we could see um, got promoted with Bournemouth. Helped them to win promotion by winning the league. Uh, was runner-up in the Carabao Cup. Won the FA Cup, so that's nice to know uh, for Tottenham. Uh, won the European International League uh, with Italy. Community Shield runner-up. Uh, what else have we got? Runners up, runners up, World Cup runner up with Italy as well, um, and Europa League runner up with Tottenham. So, did actually help Tottenham win a trophy, which was a surprise. Uh, with that, uh, personal awards we've got player of the sea, uh, team of the seasons, uh, and that sort of thing. Supporters player of the year, uh, so we can see that World Cup dream team as well. So, what a year that was for him. Team of the week's best 11s, though, otherwise, uh, as we come down. Was in the Europa League squad of the season as well for Spurs when they got to the final. Um, and I think they won that one. Uh, and then we can also see Champions League Sky Bet player select, seasonal best 11s, all that sort of thing. So he's clearly one of the best players in the world of centre back. And I tell you what, he's certainly a player I want to end up using at some point in this football manager. But with that, we'll leave it there. Thank you. Actually, no, we'll take a look at the attributes before we do go. Yeah, he smashed it. Got 165. No real surprise there. Look at those stats. You don't, I didn't even have to really look at it. That's why I didn't think about it. But there you go. We'll leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel. Of course, leave a comment down below of any players you want to see in upcoming episodes. And I'll catch you in the next one.